What's up, family? Welcome back to Recharge. Happy Friday to you. You've made it to another weekend. Today, we're going to look at Genesis 18, verses 13 to 14. Uh, it says, Then the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Will I really have a child now that I am old? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? I will return to you at the appointed time next year, and Sarah will have a son. If you're familiar with the story, then you know that God had promised Abraham and Sarah to um, the ability to have a child. If you also know, then you know that the facts of the, of the story are that they were well into what we regard as their elderly years at this point that the Lord makes this promise. And the promise actually goes so far as to be that God will make Abraham the father of many nations and that this would be a result of his wife, Sarah. The reason why I wanted to bring this particular text before you is not to say that God has promised you that you're going to have a child or that he's going to uh, somehow fulfill every single request that you've um, ever prayed and asked of him. But it is to say that anything God has promised to you, he is going to do. The reality is for us throughout Genesis, from Genesis to Revelation, there are tons of promises that we find out in the New Testament that find their yes and their amen in Jesus that we, that you and I can hold on to, that we can be sure that God will do for us. But many of us are like Sarah in that the thing that God is promising he's going to do literally looks and feels impossible. For some of us, it may be getting that, that pest sin out of our life that we just, just think is not going to go anywhere. The Bible says in verse 14 of Genesis 18 that God says, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Your sin is not too hard for the Lord. Maybe there's some healing that you need in your body. And I know that we tend to shy away from saying things like that, but the question again that God asks is, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Maybe there's a job or a, a financial breakthrough that you need. The question again is, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Maybe you just need your marriage to be fixed. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Maybe you want your child to be saved. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Literally, this statement that the Lord makes is one that we can ask ourselves all the time. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Has God promised to do every single thing that we ask? No. But are there things in his word that he has promised? Has promised? The answer is yes. So anything that God has promised, we can hold him to. And then there are those things that are in between what we call God's revealed will, such as, did God actually say he's going to save all my children? Well, no. But the question was, is there anything too hard for the Lord? The answer is no. So I can pray that the Lord will change my child. I can pray that the Lord will change my spouse. I can pray that the Lord will change this person on my job. I can pray that the Lord will change me. And what God said is true. There's nothing too hard for me. It's literally what he's trying to get at. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? The answer is no. So rather than looking at all the stuff that you've gone through this week, rather than looking at the stuff that you know is coming in the next week, looking down the corridor of your life, rather than laughing like Sarah did, won't you ask a question? Is there anything too hard for my God? And why don't you trust your God? Trust that your God, even if his answer is not yes to that thing that you're praying for, Trust that your God has a good plan for you and anything that he does allow to come into your life is ultimately for your good and anything that he says no to, he has something better. Is anything too hard for the Lord? The Lord asked Abraham, why did Sarah laugh? <laughs> Our question today is, why are we doubting? Why are you questioning why are you worrying when there's so much more prepared for you? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? I want you to consider that this weekend. I want you to pray.
pray through that this weekend. I want you to look back at this week and ask that question. I want you to look forward and ask that question. Freedom, this is your recharge. Your recharge that you need today is to know that there's literally nothing impossible for your God. I can't make promises about what he will do, but all things are possible with him. I love you guys. I'll see y'all soon.